Jefferson is eligible. What do you, what do you anticipate getting out of him this year, and, and what, what are you hoping to get out of him this year? It's probably two different things. Well, that's a good question. I don't know right now. He's the one guy that I'm not 100% sure on. The other two guys that were out last year with the injuries, Twani and Sean, seems to be recovered pretty well from their injuries. And they tell me with Elgin, they tell me he's ahead of, he's ahead of um, pace where he's supposed to be, but he's nowhere near where he was. And will he be, Matthew, three weeks from now, able to help us and be productive? I think that's the question Mark with us. And it's very obvious we need him to be, you know, uh, productive for us early. Does Elgin kind of set the tone for the front court with, you know, the way he plays, kind of hard-nosed? Other guys follow that? Uh, as you know, Elgin, Elgin's a tough guy, and he's just not tough mentally. He's tough physically. That's a, that's a different different ability we haven't had in the last couple of years. He gives us some, you know, physical presence in there differently. So, you know, he's nowhere near where he was athletically. Yeah. That's the question. His toughness is still there, probably tougher. Uh, but that mind don't make that body move quite as well and jump as high right chip. You know, a lot of pressure on Sydney, but does he do the things in practice that gives you calls and goes, man, that's, that's pretty different. I mean, we really need that. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I think the thing you got to keep in mind with Sid is this. I know there's a lot of high expectations for him, and we have them for him ourselves, and he has them for himself. Let's understand he is a freshman, and he hadn't played. And remember, he set out all of last year. Um, he's going to have to set out another nine games this year. So there's going to be a learning curve for him. But it's, I think it's very obvious for him that he has some talent. Uh, he can do some things that overcome lack of experience. So uh, He has a great basketball IQ and a great basketball sense. His, his challenge will be, you know, where is he at toughness and conditioning wise, able to push through some things with the speed of the game and the toughness you got to play with. Elgin's got a second chance. And guys give him an opportunity to continue to play. And again, I think anytime anybody's gone through that kind of stuff, uh, <laughs> you're late, man. You can't be putting that thing in here in the middle of me talking. Huh? Bob? Where you been? I'll turn this off and go talk to Trent. <laughs> but, um, um, but he is. He can give us good leadership. And again, just not uh, mentally, but physically too. Physically. What does it mean to have Boss back? What does it mean for, for you guys to, to get you back? Well, uh, you know, we're not going to have him back until 14 games. Yeah. Uh, you're asking me whether to have him 14 games now or have him from day one? I'd rather have him from day one. But I'd rather have him 14 games from now and not have him at all. So his adjustment will be mental minds just because he's been through the league, he understands. And I don't think it'll be a a great challenge to, you know, uh, piece him back into this thing.